Okay, so uh, we've got a few of the uh, Sky TV crew turning up today. I think there's quite a few of them coming down. Uh, they, I've been told they're filming here, uh, Jen doing the art, but there are also some experimental 4K uh, special cameras they're, they're trialling as well. Uh, but uh, I, don't, I don't think I'll be able to get too close to what they're doing. Uh, it's probably best I let them carry on with what they're up to. But um, yeah, I'll just try and get a little bit of footage of uh, some of the crew doing a bit of film work. See how we go. I just ask you a quick question about your camera, is that all right? This is for oh, YouTube. I don't, I don't know much about this camera. Don't ask me questions. What, what's your job then? I'm a camera operator. Yeah. I operate it. So, and what are you doing today? So I am filming GV shots for... GV, what's GV? General views. Ah, right. See, so you're technical. I don't know about this. All right, so I'm filming general yeah. views, so just kind of describing where we are in pictures. So Okay. Making so you'll slot in bits of maybe a tractor or a cow so everyone knows you're on the farm. Well, yeah. And That's it cool. just like kind of, it paints a picture yeah. away, instead of the actual Very appropriate painting. for the film you're doing, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it, this is actually not actually what I thought it was. It's not a big film camera, is it? It's a, is it a digital SLR? Yeah, it's um, a Sony A7S. Right. So yeah, it's a DSLR. And you basically. use those for filming these days? Yeah, they and have you, really good uh, right. quality for like uh, 4K. Mm. Well, so that's filming in 4K on just on that. It's amazing, isn't it? I mean, the thing is, it wasn't that long ago. The, the cameras were massive, weren't they? Yeah, I mean, like yeah. we've got bigger cam cameras in there. Yeah. But this does a job on the on the, this slider. It's mainly for the size because. Why do you have a slider then? What's all that? This is a slider. What's all that for then? It's basically so that we can get a really smooth oh, I see. tracking ring. Yeah. Okay. Why do you need to track it like that? Just adds a bit of movement. Okay. Otherwise static. So it doesn't look like you just stood in a field on the tripod. It looks yeah. like you're actually okay. Very so, good. Yeah. And what what's this bit for? This flappy bit. Uh, it's called a flag. So right. that just shields any Too much glare. Direct sunlight right. in there. Shades it off a bit. Mm. That's cool. I was really interested. I just to see this kit because it's a bit different from my tractor. <laughs> 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 All right. Wait. Hold you up. Thank you. Okay, so I've just caught these gents sneaking sneaking into our uh, hay barn and just doing a bit more filming. Can I can I ask one of you, if not too much trouble, what you're actually doing here? Certainly, we're just doing some uh, tests with the Sony F55 camera, uh, recording uh, 4K and looking into uh, HDR. So this is really cutting edge, then, is it? This is new technology here. Uh, a lot of the broadcasters are working with it. A lot of people are filming with it, um, and we're just uh, mainly looking into uh, HDR at the minute. Wow, we just have a look at this camera here. So we've got a little monitor on the top there, you can see what you're doing. You just push in there. And this is, so this is quite a new camera then, is it? Uh, the F55, no, it's been around for some years. It's a very popular camera right. that a lot of people use. Okay, and big battery pack on the back, isn't there? Massive battery Huge pack. Battery. That's got a little fan on it, is that just to cool it down? Oh, that's another recorder. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? I thought there was a little fan down the bottom, but that's actually a recorder. It's a fan to keep it cool. Oh, fan for cooling. And, uh, find me. Oh, <laughs> I just saw the other camera lady, she was doing it with a small, well, quite a big SLR camera, but this is, this is more like a conventional camera, like I thought you'd have. They come in all shapes and sizes yeah. these days. I'm sure the people who watch my channel will be interested to see the kit you're <laughs> using. And how much is a camera like this worth? 25. 25 quid? 25,000. <laughs> the lenses that typically... Uh, lenses are expensive. expensive. So you've got yeah. 25,000 for the camera. How much is a lens worth? Very. Anything from 
5,000 upwards. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, lenses cost more than the camera. Yeah. So this this filming you're doing with this camera, this isn't actually going to be in the program, is it? You're just no. so you're just trialing this. Uh, this is just, just uh, this is purpose uh, test purposes. Right. Um, so it's just for us to take back and, and work on it. Quite see honoured. What the camera's capable of. Yeah. Um, test different formats, different codecs. Quite uh, honoured to have a test camera here as well as a Sky <laughs> TV crew. Yeah. Wow, brilliant. Thanks, gents. Anyway, I won't hold you up. Thanks okay. very much. Thank you. Right, so I'm rolling now, okay. and, and I'm with Charlie, is it? Yep, it's yeah. Charlie. Oh, do you know I kept calling Jen Kate when I was speaking to the other <laughs> <laughs> So I got it right with your name. So yes. what are you doing here today, and what's your role here? So um, I am the director on Sky Arts Landscape Artist of the Year winner's film, hmm. um, and the winner has this year has been Jen Gash, who um, lives locally to the farm. And um, she didn't have a big enough studio for her final painting that she's been commissioned to paint and kindly was provided this amazing space <laughs> for, for her to paint her commission. And it's actually turned out really well because the painting that she's decided mm. to paint for her commission is one and a half metres square. That's quite big, isn't it, really? So there's not very many people who would be able to have a living room that could, mm. you know, incorporate that or, you know, any, you know, mm. lots of studios are quite small. So the fact that Jen can be in here, um, for us as well, obviously it means that she's got space and peace and quiet to do her work, which is important for us because we want her to do the best work possible. Mm. But also for filming, it's an absolute gift because we come in here and it's a great space. It looks fantastic on camera. We've got the straw bales. Mm. She's been able to put all of her works out on show over there yeah, so you can actually, see them. Mm. All of her photographs that she's taking inspiration from. And then, of course, kind of light-wise, you've got all the mm. light coming in through the sort of slatted um, yeah. walls of this building. And it just looks fantastic on camera. So just from a TV perspective, it's been, you know, it's been really great and obviously there's loads of room for the crew to wally around in and do their swanky little slider shots <laughs> and you know and have sort of a couple of cameras in here yeah. and really really get a sense of the place um, so what was so your today you were filming what were you trying to achieve today when you were filming so this is the last time that we'll see right. jen before okay. the unveiling of her mm. painting um at the imperial war museum mm. which is the um, museum who's commissioned her to paint it so um it's you know, it's really our last catch up with her. She's about two thirds of the way through the painting. Mm. So we've come here to film her, find out how she's getting on, try not to film the actual painting itself. Oh right, really? Is it still a number? Oh, I see. Because the idea is that it's a, it's a surprise. So are you, so I'm trying to work out how you're, you're doing this in sequence, because obviously. Yeah. So this so is you, right at the end of our programme. Right. And then will the unveiling be after, and after, after you this. film so this the bit? Film, ah. the, um, the painting will be unveiled next week yeah. um, at the Imperial War Museum. And th so this is the last time we see her yeah. um, working on her painting. And when's this going to be broadcast, this bit? This then? will be broadcast in, Dece I think, in December. Right. So it's, it comes right so it's unveiled next week, broadcast in December. Right at the end of the December. So right. then we have to make the programme. Yeah. Put it all together. Oh, okay. So it'll take quite a long time to do that. Yeah. In the meantime, the series is broadcasting now. Exactly. In the meantime, yeah. um, episodes one, two, six, one, two, eight are all being broadcast. So by the time this now. goes on my YouTube channel, all that will have all been broadcast, have been... and hopefully some of the people who are watching this now will have watched the program. Exactly. As it as it goes. As and it they'll goes be able through. to then look at this and go, "That's where yeah, the picture that's came where... from." And you know, and and you know, and it looks fantastic. So yeah. it's just you know, it's really great for us. And obviously, the guys have got some fantastic shots of the cows yeah. and the beautiful countryside. So well, that's it's nice. all yeah, it's all Brilliant. worked really well. All right. Thank you very much. Thank Wonderful. You. Cheers. Okay, so I'm with Jen, the artist. <laughs> now, you're an artist and you're also a film star today, so how, is, how does it feel, actually, it's a different thing for you, isn't it? How does it feel to be filmed when you're doing this? Is, is it, do you feel self-conscious or yeah, okay? I do, I do feel self-conscious. I mean, sometimes I kind of wipe off everything I've done when I'm with them because kind of I'm feeling a bit stressed, but sometimes yeah. it works out okay. 
Are you doing take one, take two, or is it straight through? Um, it's sort of straight through, but we tend to go back to things we've just maybe talked about, and also if I've sometimes inadvertently scratched my mic or something like right. that. Right. So, yeah, or a farmer them. starts starting his tractor <laughs> up in the background or something, that's yeah. a cut. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, obviously they film loads and loads and loads, and actually very little will be used. Yeah. Do you get any say what they use, or is it down to them? No. So no. you might think that's the best bit ever, and then they cut that. And then, and... Yeah, exactly. So I kind of, you know, over the weeks, you know, the amount of chats we've had about these yeah. sorts, and yeah, it'll all boil down to less than an hour's But I mean, to be honest, that's where their editing is so much better than mine, because I, I just chuck <laughs> everything on there with no control, really. But actually, when you do see these programmes, they're really interesting, because there's no dull bits, are there? It's Absolutely. all It's the greatest hits of Jen, really, yeah, isn't it? it will be, hopefully... Um, yeah, I think I probably will do some staff things here and there as well. But that's so. part of your personality and my personality <laughs> and, and just about life, isn't it? Yeah, Better to be real than some yeah. flaky fake, isn't it? <laughs> it is indeed. You're not yeah, fake. You certainly, certainly I'm quite real. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm going to bugger off now. Okay. Uh, I'll catch you. I'm not going to film you now until you finish the picture okay. and we'll have a chat then when you've done it and you can tell us more about it, OK? Oh, thanks, Richard. Cheers, Jen. Cheers.